If you're looking for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products, you need to go to ashkicking.com. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation, baby. Man, like, please keep doing that, man. You know, because it's going to be undeniable of who Deontay Wilder is. Thank y'all. All right, That's man. right. That's right. I appreciate man. you, brother. Thank you for the support. And, and I'm definitely going to grant one of your wishes for sure, especially the, the Atlanta one. You know, I live in Atlanta as well. You know, um, I, I, I got a home there as well. And um, we're looking forward to, once I unify the division, having my first title fight there in Atlanta. So I think that's going to be big. We're about to bust the market over de- open over there as well, too. And um, I'm looking forward to it, just like anywhere else, L.A. as well, too. I wouldn't mind going down to Florida. I get a lot of people talking about coming to Florida. You know, mm-hmm. We're going to try to make as many fights possible, uh, many fights happen as possible in, in, in different areas, you know. So we'll see what happens. But continue to follow me, continue to support me, and I, I appreciate you so much, brother. All right. All right, salute. Thank you all. Thanks, man. Thanks. Peace. Hey, so, so Walter, the, the last thing I want to ask you before I let you go, since this is big news, and you can relate to this with, with you know, opponents fell in PED tests that you fought. Um, I want to get your thoughts, man. Canelo Alvarez, he failed a test for Clem Buterol. He said it's meat contamination. Now he's suspended. Now they done um, extended the suspension. Now, you know, um, they, they, they're filing a complaint. Nevada State Athletic Commission, they're filing a complaint against Canelo. Your whole thoughts on the meat contamination excuse, the whole situation, man. Golovkin fighting him, everything, man. Cause you, you, you fought Ortiz after he was suspended for a year and failed a test building up to a fight. So you right. can relate to this. Your, your thoughts, champ. Well, you, you know, Dante, you know, this is a very touchy subject for me because I've been a victim of it. You know what I mean? You know, even some of the biggest fights for my career didn't happen because of, 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 of PED usage and stuff like that. So, you know, man, it just, it's, um, even when you were asking me about it, I was scratching my head, man, and saying, mm. you know, because this is, this, I'm just tired of, you know, I'm just tired of hearing about these PDs and stuff in, in, in boxing, man. It, it, it give us a bad name, man. And we didn't work so hard. We continue to work so hard to put our lives on the line each and every time for for others' entertainment and for for guys to, you know, man, you just you you don't want to blame nobody because, like, you don't really know. Yeah. You don't really know. But you know, when you use the excuses of cows and meat and stuff, I'm like, why are you just now eating cow meat now? Out of all this time, or if it was contaminated. They didn't do nothing to report about the cows in the area being contaminated. I know over here, if anything happened to me and stuff, they report a certain thing. You see it in CNN and stuff like that. It's like, man, it's just so hard to just, it's just so hard to just Believe. look at this situation and say whether he did or didn't. Because, you know, when you're talking about eating meat, man, I, man, I, I'd rather not say nothing. You know what <laughs> I mean? Because you know how I feel about it. I'd rather not, you know, say nothing. But with Triple G, you know, all fighters have their own opinion about things. All fighters, you know, only do what they feel would be beneficial for them and their health. You know, everybody don't have the mindset as Deontay yeah. uh, Wilder, especially as the bronze bomber in boxing. You know, for me, I'll fight them all. I'll fight anything. You know what I mean? I'll go in the wild and fight a bear if I have to. Shit, i go down and be at one of the, the messiahs in Africa, you know, and, and fight the, the lions. Them long athletic guys that fight the Lions. You know, that's what type of Warriors thing I come from. But, you know, with him, you know, it's up to him. If he don't feel like he should fight because they done it, then, you know. I know a lot of fans are going to criticize him, even still. You know, they probably blame him. Like, they used to blame me, you know, when another man do something. But, man, I, I just wish it would stop, man. And for it to stop, these, these federations, man, they, these organizations, they're going to have to really – stricken down on like totally no matter yeah and not show no favoritism to these fighters no matter who they are or what status they have they can't show favoritism when it comes to this situation Mm -hmm. they just can't they're gonna have to narrow it down the bar forget the money and stuff you're talking about somebody's life Uh, you know and people always talk about me talking about taking a man's life but they got to understand that that's just the bronze bomb that's in the ring at least they get an opportunity to defend themselves of course you know after the fight of course Deontay I don't want that to happen Mm-hmm. I never. I always want a man to go back to his family because I want to go back to mine. 
But I understand this is boxing, and, and, and certain we sign up for certain things. And certain things can happen because the head is not meant to be hit anyway. So when we get in there and step over those ropes and that day will say, ding, and somebody get punched in the head, it's a possibility that could be the last time they get hit in the head. That's why this subject is so touchy because when guys put stuff in their body and let their body do something that it's not naturally supposed to do, now you, you taking the, you, you advancing the risk or actually really just really killing a man in the ring instead of a guy just coming in just like me just talking, I want, you know, I want to do this, do that. At least I'm clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. at least I'm clean. At least I don't try to cheat and do that stuff, man. I, just, I you know, man. It's it's just it's it's, it's sad to, to even be talking about this after all the situations and and the examples that have been going on in boxing and it's still occurring time and time again. And even in the big fights, man, like this, you know, it's just sad, bro. It's sad, Wilder, and and you know Canelo, he's in a lose lose situation in this whole matter because now if he goes in there, he knocks him out, he beats him. Then, then people are gonna say, yeah, but you you failed you you failed a test twice before the fight, and then if you lose, that looks bad because then they're gonna like oh they're gonna be like oh you had an advantage and you still lost. So for yeah, it seemed like for Canelo, he just it's all bad for Canelo, you know. So yeah. and regardless if it was intentional, if somebody put a gun to him and made him eat bad meat, you know, it's just it, he ha- he's going into the fight with an advantage that Golovkin didn't have. So yeah, man, that's that's what it is, Deontay. That's that's what it is, man. That is so true. Hey, man, but hey, that man, is so true. Well, Deontay, because I know you're a busy man, and I so I want to say I really, really, really appreciate you calling in, man, and doing the show with us, man. Anything else you got to say to the fans? Anything else on your mind, man? Before I let you go, man. To all my fans around the world, man, I really appreciate you guys so much, man. I do it not only I do it for my family and the, and my loved ones that I surround myself um, by every day. But I also do it for you guys as well, too. I'm listening. I hear you guys paying attention. And uh, it's a movement, baby. We done came a long way. We done had a lot of things that try to distract us or detour us from the objective that lies at hand. And the mission is, the objective is to unify the division, undisputed, undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet. There will be one champion, one face, one name. And he go by the name of Deontay Wilder. And with you guys help and with you guys support, and still, man, you know, a lot, I'm, I, I motivate a lot of people, but you guys motivate me as well, too, and I appreciate it. So it worked hand-in-hand hand because real understand and recognize real, and we're going to continue to do it. We're going to smoke them guys out of there. We will get what we want, and at the end of the day, when it's all said and done and the smoke clears, we're going to be like the uh, – you, you, man, it's only going to be us, the bomb squad, with our hand raised high and said we did it. So I appreciate you guys so much. Love you guys. Peace. And God bless, baby. Bob Squad! I'm out. There it is. Take care, champ. Take care, champ. Good looking, man. That's what it is right there. The heavyweight champion of the world. My man, Deontay Wilder, just blew it up right over here on DBN Live. It went down. If you guys missed it, boy, y'all missed it, boy. Y'all missed the hell of a plane crash that went down, boy, I tell you. Anyway, um, hey, um, we're going to um, go ahead and, um, here, let me see here. Let me see what else y'all talking about. Um, I might go ahead and go back to the phone lines real quick and then um, wrap it up. Oh, oh, I got to say what's up to the most important cats in the comment section, man, in the super chat section. These members right here, they keep the army. They keep the tank rolling. So let me go ahead and shout out the DBN Super Chat Army over here that donates to Dante. I appreciate that. Uh, my man Gregory Wyatt said, thanks for calling in, champ. Hashtag bomb squad. My man Killmonger, he said, uh, much love, bro, from Derek Washington out of oh. Dallas, Texas. Hashtag the real champ. My moderator showing love in the, in the Super Chat section. You know you always a part of the Army. Oh, let me scroll this down so I can read this. My man Angel Santos, he said, Eddie and company will continue to duck and dodge. They can't run and hide. We hear new media, DBN, LDBC, Bomb Squad. My man, the Cali Enigma, he said, um, hashtag Bomb Squad, the king of the division. Shout out to my man Reggie Owens. He said, um, he said yo, my brother Dante, you keep delivering this great new media all, all the time. 
and it is very critical to the career of fighter to come on the platforms. I wanted to call in and chop it up with the champ, but I'm in a meeting. Good looking out, Reggie. We'll get you on with the champ next time for sure, man. Another, another donation from Gregory Wyatt. Man, I appreciate you, man. He said, uh, we got your back, champ. Hashtag bomb squad. And uh, my man P Money with all the um, bomb emojis. And my man Patrick, uh, Patrick Scott, Alabama Scrong. He said Alabama Scrong. That's what it is, man. Shout out to the Army, man. The DBN Army. I appreciate you guys showing love. Um, I want to take this. Um, I think we got a UK call right here. I think we got a UK caller calling in. So let's go and take this call. Uh, what's going on, man? What's your name? Where you calling from? Oh, hello. Hey, man, this is Seth, the American out there in Scotland. Oh, man. what's going on, Seth? What's going on, man? What's, what's on your man, mind? Man, I just wanted to... I just wanted to shout you out and say, man, congratulations on getting the champ. Uh, Thank you. To, to get him to call in, I, I just I wanted to try and get in there and tell him something. No, but uh, I just wanted to shout you. out. I think that's great that he called in, man. That was nice. It I sure, like that. It, it sure was, and I, and I really wish cats like you would have um, been able. I could get um, you guys on with him. I just didn't want to overwhelm him. But you know, the more comfortable he yeah. gets, the more comfortable he gets with the form. You know. Maybe next time he'll be ready to um, take about ten calls because the phone lines were com were lit completely, man. Yeah. So, but yeah, man. But thanks for showing that love, bro. I appreciate that, man. All right, man. Anything? Yeah, man. All right, peace, man. All right, take care, bro. Take care, man.